What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another sales video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a lot more video games and video game consoles that I did sell. Now these kind of videos I have been slowing down on making because there's other content that I wanna focus on. But if you guys wanna see more content about my side hustle, my side business, my eBay business, or anything else that I do buy and sell, let me know down in the comments below because I do love making these videos. It's just I haven't been making that many of them. Not that there's no sales coming in, but just I've been focusing on other content and creating other things for you guys. So let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos, but let's get into today's video. So at first, we do have an Xbox One. This is the first Xbox One that I've ever purchased. This one here actually got a great price. I think I got it for around $100 or actually less. I think it was around $80 because I did have to get an HDMI cable. So with the HDMI cable that I bought, it was around $100 total that I spent. Now, whenever I did buy this console, I bought it knowing that it wasn't working. And the person that I bought it from, the owner didn't have a clue of how to fix it, so I wanted to attempt to fix it. So I did go and I did try to test it out and see what did work, and I realized it was the HDMI cable that it is the reason why it's not connecting to the TV. So all I did was go and I bought a replacement HDMI cable off of Amazon, tried it out, tested it again, and it worked perfectly. So this here, I was able to sell it for $175. So I made around $75 profits. Now I did find out that it was day one edition, which I thought would be worth a lot more, but I didn't want to risk it. Sold it for $175, so I did make profit, and I thought it was a great deal. Next up is going to be nine PlayStation 1 video games. These ones here are ones that I've been sitting on for a long time. I think most of them were sports games or ones that I didn't think would be worth much money. I did sell them for just $15 just to get them sold. Next up is the Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP NES Edition, kind of like the one that I do have in my personal collection here. This one here, I was able to sell it for $200. So they are great to find if you are able to find them for cheap to sell for profits. If it's in perfect condition, no scratches, comes with the uh, charging cable and the battery is in perfect condition, you should be able to get around $200 like I did sell it here. So I thought that was great profit. I think I only spent around 100 or 120 to get it. So that is great profit for me. Next up is going to be for the uh, Nintendo Game Boy game for Pokemon Blue. This game here, I sold it for $30, which I thought was a great, great deal. The label was completely rough and worn out, but it was a great price to be able to sell it for that. I didn't think it'd be worth that much, even because it was a rough label, but I was able to sell it for a decent amount. Next up is gonna be the original PlayStation 3 Fat Model. That was a model number A. This one here, because it's a or B, it means it's going to be backwards compatible. Since it was backwards compatible with the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games, I was able to get a decent amount for it, and I was able to sell it for $300. This here, I bought it for around $100 with a ton of video games because the seller just didn't know what it was worth. I did, I did look it up and see what the model number A was worth, and because it's backwards compatible, that's why it was worth $300, which is why I sold it for around that amount. Next up is gonna be two, or sorry, the chainsaw blades that I did get, it was a two pack, and I got them from Crazy Bins for about $5. I sold them for $20, so I did make $15 profit, and I haven't been back to Crazy Bins since. I am planning on going back, and I want to, it's just I have not had time to go and do it, because usually on the weekends, I do work overnights and I sleep during the day and it's just not even on my mind to go back to crazy bins right now. Next up is going to be Snoopy versus the Red Baron. For the PlayStation 2, this game did sell after fees on eBay for $18 profit, which I thought was a great deal. It was included in a video game lot with a bunch of other games. For some reason, I decided to look up the sold comps of this game, and I realized it was worth selling and listing individually on eBay, and it did eventually sell. Even after shipping and fees, $18, I thought that was a great price. 
Next up was a pack of hockey cards. Now I did give a discount for them because I just wanted to see them gone. And I think since then I actually took them off of eBay just because I have not been selling that many of them. But after fees and shipping, it was $11. So not a lot of profits, but for stuff that's just sitting in the other room, $11, just taking it to the post office, putting a stamp on it, in my opinion, was kind of worth it. It's just I don't like going to the post office post office if I have a lot of those because it's not worth making a ton of trips for just $11. Next up is going to be the Nintendo 3DS that I did pick up, the Galaxy Edition, and I was able to sell it for $255. Now, I did pay $190 for this console at the time I picked it up. Sold comps were around $300 to $350. Unfortunately, whenever you do buy things, Prices sometimes do fluctuate, and it did drop to around $250. I was able to sell it for $255, which was still $65 profit. It's just I thought I was going to I thought I was going to be able to sell it for a lot more profit, but I guess profit is profits, and it just sucked that just after I bought it, the price and the slow comps on eBay dropped a lot. And the last one is going to be the standard. Game Boy Advance SP, the blue one that I had that was in perfect condition, no scratches. I did sell it for $150, which is about what you can get for Game Boy Advance SPs. And you should be able to get them from time to time under $100, $100 or less, and be able to sell it if it's in perfect condition for around $150. So there's something I do look out for, and I did recently purchase another, another one to sell, and hopefully I'm expecting around the same price. But these are the recent consoles and video games that I did sell. Again, if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know. Or if you guys want to know more in depth on my eBay business and what I do and how I acquire and how I go in and look up uh, sold comps for things or I go and find these video game lots or these comic book collections that I do buy. If you guys want to know more about the eBay business and my side hustle, let me know because I will make videos on that if you guys are interested. But I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.